So I finally finished my cart. It was a challenge, but it was well worth it. Thing's a beast. Cup holder, zero gravity style. Yes, sir. All right, well, let's take a look. We got the extra padded seat. Thing is gorgeous. It's so comfy. Um, we got the PDGA sticker. Flip it over. Going slick with Airborne, yo. Heck yeah. Pretty simple. That's pretty slick. But, all right. So these clamps are for um, a bicycle uh, light clamp. I just used it for the umbrella holder there. Let's get rid of this. Nice Nova sweater. Shirt. Um, putter pouch. And a couple. Um, Towels, got the throwing glove, which I'm not a huge fan of yet. Another dry um, towel, a nice towel here. Um, two Firefly putters, got my markers, got a score card if you want to use that, or a bottle opener, and another bottle opener, some tags, Three Rivers Park. PGA pass knife if anybody needs it. All right, so installed this mole pack panel pack. Um, so I got a riveter and riveted where the screw holes are for the drink holders. Got that in there uh, and then wrapped it around here. Put another rivet and put a, a longer bolt in uh, for the, f the frame itself. Um, just picked it up at Ace and uh, reused the the nut so bring the nut with you and match it up you'll find it so down here you might see it better over here um, let's get some better light my umbrella is hitting the light up top and almost hitting the ceiling fan so it's this is pretty funny that you're not seeing any of it. Alright, so... Still can't really see the strap here. But anyways... Um... It's there, somewhere. It's like right up against the... Latch here. A little red tag. Anyways, I bought those Velcro straps from Ace. I actually sewed them on in my hand and repositioned where the straps were. The straps were up here and I put them down here so that they wouldn't interfere with anything going on up here with the, the uh, saddlebags or the uh, fender, fender uh, guards here. So, back to the mole gear. I got these drink holders, uh, red to match, which is pretty sweet, if you ask me. Um, get two extra pockets here. I'm probably going to just use it for my phone uh, and keys in the other one. Uh, fits a pretty decent sized bottle. Right now in this one I got the, uh, the big jug. It fits in there nice. Um, the other one I think I'm just going to like say uh, use the keys and then I got my speaker in here right now. Um, you, know, you guys know me. Uh, like the music playing. It's a good time. All right, so moving on to some of the other custom stuff. Well, back with the mole. So I have it, uh, two straps also sewn up here that go through and come back and cinch it up top here. It's all folded over. Uh, I got two, four, six, eight screws going in it. So eight rivets, or grommets, sorry. Um, two going in here. Uh, where the pole connects to the uh, the frame here. One thing I would change about this with the mole panel is I probably would have cut that out um, and allow this to go recessed in because that's a recessed 
frame rail. Uh, so it kind of just fits in there perfect. I tightened it up a little bit too much and it pinched the, the pole. Um, a little too tight so this didn't freely come out. Which is a positive and a negative. Because now it definitely is not spinning in there. So that's good. Alright. Um, try not to make this too long. At the end, does that look nice? And you see that coming. Damn. All right. Um, got the pouches or the, the pockets on the side. Um, pretty sure what I'll do is I'll put my uh, disc catcher or disc retriever in here. Uh, stands up a little bit, might get in the way, but we'll see. Um, I got a, a mole shotgun scabbard coming which is going to basically what i'm going to put the umbrella in and that will mount either on the right or left side i haven't decided yet um so the sheath comes up to about here and it'll slide in and on the back side of the sheath it has the mole loops so i'll just reattach the drink holder to the scabbard so everything in back will i mean one drink holder will push out a little bit but big deal um so on to yeah these are squared right that looks good they're, they're hard now so uh everything fits in there um, what i did is i took um 10 10 whatever 0 0.10 0 0.1000 uh mil uh, plastic uh hpd E uh, plastic and cut it to fit. Uh, it's about eight and five eighths. I mean, I might have to check my measurements here. If anybody's wondering, I can get you that. Um, but it does fit a 12 pack or a six pack. Jesus, I'm an alcoholic, huh? Um, so yeah, got some nice choice stuff in here. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take one of those right now. Um, It's not bush, but it's good enough. Alright, so what I did is I used uh, Gorilla Resin. Uh, I set that up, I clamped it top and bottom, and put a uh, couple batteries on top, big batteries, heavy batteries, just to get some weight on top, and I flipped it upside down and I had it all, 24-hour cure, all that. And then what I did is I took uh, the Gorilla adhesive caulking, like, it's not the it's the ultimate um it's supposed to be better than the construction i guess who knows but i wanted it to dry white as you can see it's not pretty in there i didn't really care about that um i might line it with something but this is the least of my words um so yeah squares it up keeps it nice and square hard you know that i also uh wrap that with gorilla um duct tape white gorilla duct tape uh just to make sure reinforce it make sure it's not going to break apart or anything in a year or whatever it's going to last long did the same thing over on this side um squares it up looks good people are probably tell me i need to improve my camera skills this case is slick all right so same thing got plastic in here um you know, I, I I made one, I made two out of cardboard, one out of real cheap, whatever, thin cardboard out of a moving box or something. And then I did another one that had it was a little thicker based on the substrate that I was going to use. And I took those measurements into account in making this. Um, it's eight and five eighths tall, eight and five eighths. I'm going to have to get those measurements. Anyways, nice and sturdy fit uh four putters three three putters and i got uh, my little baby in here so um stay safe right there uh, i only throw it non-water holes you got that right and places i don't think i'm gonna lose it uh so on my old zuka which if you know me uh was in the back of my truck in my accident so um there's a lot of things broken they warrantied everything um 
but uh, the, the pole was not something that got sent back or needed to be. So I have another handle. I'm going to use that for probably my phone mount. Um, still looking at options. If you uh, guys know a good mount, let me know in the comments below. Um, again, fender flares. Um, as far as discs, you know, I think four on the side is the most I've ever had, even without sorry um the hard sides uh, the hard box here i don't think i've ever fit more than two or three or four discs in this so you got four i got two in the putters uh putter pouch So, yeah, 34. Uh, that's still too many. Sorry, excuse my language. Um, yeah, maybe take some out here. I don't know. I have a lot of doubles of everything, guys. Like three eagles, three wraiths, three T birds. Uh, yeah, this is the cart, man. Turned out freaking amazing. I love it. Um, can't wait to use it. Probably gonna bust it out first thing tomorrow. Or after work um well, i'm lucky i can keep working now but uh everybody stay safe stay healthy take your vitamins be well cheers <laughs>